first of all, welcome to my review of the Lindum Clarity Digital Video Baby Monitor and the Safety First High Clarity Color Digital Video Monitor. Both of them come with night light facility and infrared night vision, both in full color, both digital. I'm going to run you through some of the, uh, the good points and bad points of them. I also um, had purchased the Necessity uh, digital baby monitor as well. That's actually been sent back, but I'll explain why later. But basically the features on the Necessity were very similar to the fa Safety First. But I'll run through these two models with you and give you my honest opinion. Basically we're due to have our baby in seven weeks time and I wanted a video monitor that was going to do the job that I wanted it to do so I bought three uh, to test them and I thought I'd share my results with you uh, so let's get them unpacked and demonstrate them to you okay let's start with the safety first camera um, I've set it up in my living room if I come in a bit closer you'll be able to see the screen it won't be very clear obviously because it's uh, being filmed on a camcorder you will get a certain amount of interference uh, as a still screen it's reasonably cl clear um, I'll be honest with the safety first you do seem to get this constant uh, background noise um, a feedback and I will warn you one of the features I really dislike about this particular camera is that if you take the actual screen unit too close to the camera you get this squelching noise as if you're using a microphone um, I found that even when the volume here is quite low uh, now that could be a problem if you're going obviously just going up to check on the uh, on your baby and you, you've got this on your belt clip or whatever it could let out a nasty screech, it really is quite a nasty screech, it's something that really put me off um, I'll be honest I don't think the buttons are very uh, easy particularly to use um, if you push mode it goes onto zoom mode and that means you can zoom but you have to keep your finger on it for two seconds and it jumps to times two times four uh, and you can only pan left and right once you've zoomed and it's a very you'd have to keep tapping it for it to go across a bit it's, it's a really awkward and complicated um, system to use if you push mode again it takes you into menu gives you your menu options timeout uh, auto level um, the other thing I didn't like about this piece is that you can put it onto VOX mode which means you push the view button it turns the screen off and turns it on standby now if the child makes a noise um, it, we can demonstrate if you can make some noise for me by the camera uh, hello. Hello. as you can see you can hear the baby making a noise but obviously the screen doesn't turn back on again for you uh, this one is better than the necessity because you can actually push it and put the screen back on. I will warn you with the necessity, once it's gone onto auto mode and the screen's gone off, um, it, it, the screen will turn on when the baby cries, but you cannot manually put the screen back on. Once it's in auto mode, you, it'll only come back on again if the baby cries or there's a noise, which was absolutely ridiculous if you ask me. That's what really put me off the necessity. Uh, let's just see some movement now on the camera. If I come in a bit closer, if we can just get some movement in front of the camera. As you can see, it's not too bad. It is a little bit jumpy and you do get boxy pictures. Uh, it's not extremely clear. Uh, forget the uh, interference of the wave movement you're getting on the screen. Um, that's just from the camcorder. But the, the all round screen, in my opinion, not very good quality, not very clear at all. Um, and especially when someone's got their head down there and they're moving their head around it looks very boxy and not very nice. Pan and tilt, waste of time, um, volume sensitivity too much, even if you turn it down you still get a squelching noise if you go too close to the uh, camera which is rubbish if you're going to go up to, uh, to see the child. Um, all round, afraid to say, really not impressed at all. Um, I haven't tried the distance it'll go whether it is 190 meters because in all honesty I'll be honest I wouldn't have the system at all um, let's move on and have a look at the Lindum okay guys I've got the camera now set up near you can see when I speak you can it, how sensitive the actual and as soon as I spoke then obviously it turned the screen back on again um, I've got the night light system on which is 
them nice little star lights. You can actually see on the screen some purple lights here which you actually can't see with the naked eye. Um, they just come up obviously when the night vision is working. Um, basically I can show you now, we put it on to, uh, if I turn it off voice over rather than turn it on and I speak quieter and now if I make noise you can see how it turns on straight away and you can hear the baby talking and it makes a difference on the uh, speaker. Um, now I can show you the tunes if you push the and melody three and you've got a little symbol down here showing that you're playing music and as you can see guys I've got this right up close I'll just turn that volume down a bit because it's echoing uh, I've got it right up close and there's no interference with the camera it's not squelching the necessity uh, the uh, uh, safety first made horrible squelching noises um, you've got interference as you walked around the house I thought you've got sound interference but with the clarity um, Lindman clarity you're not getting any interference at all and as you can see the quality of the screen as I rotate it around I'll bring that up a bit closer to you you can see it's absolutely smashing quality now finally all I've got left to show you is the night vision on it and just to show just to demonstrate really how good it is so again we've been through the fact a uh, few points just to run through with you the necessity um, even though it's got a, a, a longer range we haven't actually demonstrated it because I sent it back basically because of the bad quality um, it had a terrible tilt on it um, you had to really shout to turn the auto voice recognition on even when the volume was on loud safety first um, the most expensive had bad screen quality fiddly buttons really didn't get on with that pan and um, zoom absolute waste of time the clarity though at 117 pounds it really does work up to the 150 meters they claim because I've tested that out to my workshops um, as we live on a farm and that was one of the things we really wanted was the distance to work uh, with the larger screen the cheapest price best looks um, by far the best screen uh, sound quality, the melodies that you can play and the night light uh, the, the Linman is definitely the way forward and by far the best digital baby monitor that I've certainly came across and used finally I'll just demonstrate to you the um, night vision ok guys um, I've tried my hardest to get this clear on the screen for you uh, on the screen that I'm looking at it, it's really fantastically clear um, my autofocus is messing around with it though but basically I've put Mr Bunny Rabbit which you actually can't see his ears because they're tucked behind his head uh, in our airing cupboard and Mr Bunny Rabbit is in absolute darkness he's in pitch black darkness uh, I've put him in the airing cupboard fortunately I had a plug socket in the airing cupboard uh, for the, uh, the water tank so I actually could plug it into there to show you just how clear in the absolute black you can see Mr Bunny the night vision on this is absolute fantastic again you can use your voice over now that won't come on until the baby makes any noise but unlike the necessity if you want to check on the baby anyway uh, it's at this point that you can't um, if you put it onto voice over which I can demonstrate and you decide you want to look on the baby on the uh, necessity that's it if you push the button again nothing happens you've got to wait until there's a noise whereas with this push the button again and it comes back on night vision's fantastic the screen's big it really is a smashing big kit if you're going to buy a baby monitor for your baby uh, believe me on this one buy this try it out I'm 99.9% .9 you won't be getting a different monitor it's absolutely fantastic Thanks for watching my review.